crown of thorns is placed on Jesus' head to humiliate him and mock him. The one who's been called the king of the Jews now stands beaten and powerless. Throughout John's passion narrative, Jesus is calm, and the rest of the characters seemingly swirl around him. In the midst of this story, Jesus is surrounded by the darkest part of humanity, the part that will humiliate and mock others, the part that imposes suffering and perpetuates evil and darkness in the world. It makes it hard to understand why this is called Good Friday. The good is in what God accomplishes through pain and darkness. The good is in the hope that is difficult to see. The good is in the reminder that Jesus is the light of the world, and even in the darkest of times, the darkness will not win. The light will still shine. Even now, as the darkness seems to be winning, we remember that hope is coming. The darkness creeps in, but the light will soon return. Like plants that wait to burst through the ground and bloom, we sit and we wait. We wait in the darkness, clinging to the hope that thorns will give way to blossoms, clinging to God who promises to be there for us, even in the darkness. So this Good Friday, let us cling to hope. Let us feel the suffering for those who dwell in deep darkness. And let us work to end depression and suffering and bring hope and light to a weary world. Let us cling to, the, to one another and remember that hope is coming. Death will not have the last word. And the light will break forth once again. <laughs>